Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. So this is the last video for lecture one where we will focus on the emission series for the light spectrum of hydrogen atom. Stay tuned. In this video, we will focus on the emission series of hydrogen line spectrum. But before that, let's do a quick revision on the formation of line spectrum. So when an electron of a hydrogen atom at its ground state, which is n equals to 1, absorbs sufficient amount of energy, it will excite to a higher energy level. So at higher energy level, electron is unstable, it will fall back to a lower energy level. And please note that, so the first paragraph here is referring to the postulate number 3 of the Bohr atomic postulate. So during the transition, which is the electron falls from higher to a lower energy level, energy will be released in the form of light or a photon of energy at a definite wavelength and frequency. So the second and third statement is regarding to postulate number four. And since the energy is quantized, fixed in value, the wavelength produced can be seen as line in the spectrum. So here are the series of hydrogen line spectrum. So we have Lyman series, Balmer series, Passion series, Bracket series, and also p fun series. And please note that these five series is different from each other based on the final level where the electron drops. So you have to know that. So the originally, the electron is at excited state. So when it absorbs enough energy, it will excite to higher energy level, which is the excited state. And at excited state, is it is unstable, so it will fall to lower energy level. So when it falls to lower energy level, it can fall to any lower energy level, not necessar necessarily directly to n equals to 1. So this will give rise to a different emission series of a line spectrum. So for example, Lyman series is the electronic transition where the electron from a different excited state fall to the energy level n equals to 1. The Balmer series is where the electron fall to n equals to 2. The Passion series is where all the electrons fall to n equals to 3. Bracket series is when the electron make a transition from higher energy level to n4. And the P5 series, the final energy level where the electron drops is n equals to 5. So this is to summarize the all five series of hydrogen emission spectrum. And please note that all these five series is different from each other through the end final where the electron drops. So end initial here is the excited state before the electron fall. So the end initial must be higher than end final. And you have to know that the individual line in each series will have a different wavelength value. Thus, it will be located in the different spectrum region. For example, Lyman series. So, the lines in the Lyman series fall within the ultraviolet region in the spectrum region. So, Balmer series will fall within the visible region. The partial bracket and p fine will lie within the infrared region in the spectrum. So, since Balmer series, since the line in the Balmer series fall within the visible light, so we can only see the lights that coming from the Balmer series. So here I want to show you how do we produce line spectrum by using energy level diagram. So let's focus on the Lyman series and Balmer series first. So for example, for formation of Lyman series, so the end initial, so Lyman series, the final energy level where the electro, electron drop is at n equals to 1. So the end initial must be higher than n1. So for example, the electron is at excited state n2. So when it make a transition fall to N1, so this will give rise to one individual line on the line spectrum here. So for example, if the electron at excited state N3 and it make a transition fall to N equals to 1, so this electron transition will produce, will release energy in the forms of light. So it will give rise to another individual line, the second line. And if the electron is at n equals to 4 and falls to n1 so this also will produce one 
another one individual line on the line spectrum. So since all the end final is N1, so this is what we call a Lyman series. So these lines belong to Lyman series. So let's take a look at the Bolmer series. So Bolmer series, the energy level, the final energy level where the electron drops is N2. So the N initial must be higher than N2. So for example, the first line is from transition N3 to N2. So this transition N3 to N2 will produce one individual line on the line spectrum. Okay, the second transition, if the electron at N equals to 4 falls to N equals to 2, so this transition also release energy in the forms of light. So another line will appear. If electron at excited state N5 falls to N2, so this transition also produce the third line on the line spectrum. And if you notice that the distance between the second and the third line is getting closer to each other. So it shows the same pattern to the energy level diagram. So this is because since the energy gap or energy difference between each energy level is getting smaller and closer. So the, the line on the line spectrum also getting closer to each other so and also and please also bear in mind that each electronic transition from higher to lower energy level will release heat in the forms of light so these individual lines also must have a specific wavelength value so different wavelength value will give rise will give rise to a different uh, emission series of hydrogen spectrum so for example all these electronic transition falls to energy level N2 as the final state. So this is what we call as Bolmer series. So this diagram shows all the five series of emission series of hydrogen line spectrum. So for example here, so this is the Lyman series or the line in Lyman series. So all the series has a specific wavelength value. So this is Lyman series and this is the first line in the Lyman series. So this is the Bolmer series and this is the first line of the Bolmer series. So you can see that each series has their own wavelength value. So, so now let's focus on identifying a specific line in the series of hydrogen spectrum. And let's take a Bolmer series for example. So the first electronic transition is must be from N3 to N2. So since the final level for Bolmer series is when the electron make a transition to final final level N N2. So let's say N3 to N2. So this electronic transition will produce the first line. So if the electron is at N4 falls to N2, so this will give rise to the second line. If the electron is at N5 falls to N2. So it will produce the third line. And the distance between the second and the third line is getting closer to each other. So what I want to show you here is that when you sketch the electronic transition on the energy level diagram, you can start either from left or from right, but you will end up with the same pattern of the line spectrum. So what I mean is, if you draw the, ele the first electronic transition from the right, so N3 to N2, so this electronic transition will produce the first line. Okay, the second line is from N4 to N2. So it will produce the second line. Okay, and the third line is from N4 to N2. So you will get the third line. So as you can see here, you will still get the same pattern of the line spectrum, whether you sketch the electronic transition on energy level diagram starting from the left or from the right. So now let's focus on the formation of specific line in the series of hydrogen at hydrogen spectrum. So, for example, how do the second line of Bolmer series is produced? So, the first electronic transition is from N3 to N2. So this is the first line. So the second line must be from N4 to N2. So this is the second line. The third line is from N5 to N2. So now we want to focus on how do, I, how do we explain the formation of the second line in the, in, in the Bolmer series. 
So, first point is electron at the ground state, N1, originally, will absorb energy and is excited to N4 because we are focusing on the second line here. So, the excited electron at N4 is unstable. So, what happened is it will fall back to N2 and release energy in the form of light. Okay, now I want to focus on the relationship between the light energy, the wavelength and frequency for the individual lines on the line spectrum. So the energy released when electron drops is a radiation energy, a photon, with appropriate frequency and wavelength. So for example here, which line produces the highest energy, which line has the longest wavelength, and which line has the lowest frequency. So for the first question, which line has which line produce the highest energy? So the answer is line C. So this is because if you take a look here, so line C is an electronic transition from N5 to N2. So the energy difference from or, uh, energy level 5 to energy level 2 is the highest compared to other electronic transition. For example, A, N3 to N2. For line B, N4 to N2. So the energy difference between N5 and N2 is the highest. So line C has the highest energy. So question 2. Which line has the longest wavelength? So as you can see here, the energy is inversely, delta E, is inversely proportional to wavelength. So longest wavelength meaning lowest energy. So line A has the lowest energy. So since the energy difference between N3 and N2 is the lowest. So line A has the longest frequency. So and question number three, which line has the lowest frequency? So lowest frequency means lowest energy. This is because the delta E energy is directly proportional to the frequency mu here. So lowest frequency means the line that has the lowest energy. So the answer is line A since line A produced the lowest energy and also the lowest frequency.